Hello YouTube fam, welcome to Tekken Armory. I am Millie, and today we are going to talk about the new character Lydia and her arsenal of tools. We will be showing you Lydia's weapons like Punishers, Counter Hits, Follow Ups, Launchers, Tornados, Pokes, Power Crush, and more. Without further ado, let's get started with Lydia's Punishers. This is Lydia's 10 frame Punisher. It leaves her at plus eight after hit and into a stance called Cat Stance. This is Lydia's 11 frame Punisher. It puts her at Cat Stance and leaves her with plus 11 frames on hit. This is Lydia's 12 frame Punisher. It knocks her opponent away on hit. Great for resetting the pressure of your opponent. This is Lydia's 13 frame Punisher, which starts with a down forward one. This is Lydia's 14 frame Punisher. It is a true combo and it is also one of her heat engagers. This is Lydia's 15 frame Punisher. It is a standard launcher. This is another 15 frame Punisher. It is her standard hop kick. She also has this 17 frame Punisher. It is a natural combo, but it is weaker compared to just using any of the 15 frame launchers. For her punishers from Crouch, she has the generic Crouch Jab. From Neutral, you need to input back down one instead of down one only. This is her 11 frame while standing Punisher. Standard while standing four with a small extension. It also leaves her in cat stance. This is her 12 frame while crouching Punisher. It is a fast mid heat engager. This is her 13 frame while standing Punisher. It also leaves her in cat stance. This is another 13 frame while standing Punisher. This is her 14 frame while standing Punisher. It knocks down opponent for a follow-up that we will show you later in the follow-up section. This is her 15 frame while standing Punisher. It is a standard while standing punch launcher. Hi guys, are you enjoying yourself so far? I hope so. Next, we will show you her plus on block moves or frame traps. This is her heat smash. If her opponent blocked it, she will be at plus 10 and at the stance called heaven and earth. Her heat smash startup frames is 18. This is her one plus two max hold charge. It is plus seven on block. At the wall, this move triggers wall stagger. It gives plus 17 on block. This is the same move on heat. For no hold charge, it is plus one on block. Same move on heat. For medium hold charge, it is plus 10 on block. For max hold charge with heat, it is plus 15 on block. At the wall, again, it staggers. It is plus 25 on block. This is plus one on block. This is plus eight on block, but the pushback is large. This one is plus six on block. This one is plus two on block. It is also a heat engager. This move is plus five on block. This is your primary attack to switch to horse stance for mix-ups. This move is plus six on block. This is the same move during heat. During heat after the move, Lydia shifts to heaven and earth with an advantage of plus five, unless you press back where it changes to the normal plus six. This is a standard running three. It is plus six on block. Oh, yeah. This is plus one on block. This is from horse stance. It is a power crush and plus one on block and it shifts to the stalking wolf stance. 
This is also from Horse Stance. It is plus eight on block, and it also shifts to the Stalking Wolf Stance. This one is from Stalking Wolf Stance. It is plus two on block. This is the same move, but with maximum hold charge. It is plus seven on block. This one is from the Heaven and Earth Stance. It is plus six on block. Hi, guys. Uh, uh, um, um. Let's move on to the counter hits. Remember to keep exercising. This is her down back three. During counter hit, it makes a throw. This is her forward forward two that we showed you earlier. On normal hit, it gives plus 15. During counter hit, it gives plus 17. With a true plus 17, the 16 frame follow up from horse stance is guaranteed. It is a heat engager and leaves her in the heaven and earth stance. This is normal four three. During counter hit, the string becomes a natural combo and it launches. Normal down forward 1-3 string isn't natural, but with counter hit, it becomes natural. Normal down forward 3-4 string isn't natural, but with counter hit, it becomes natural. You can also do a follow-up, which we will show later. Counter hit down 1 knocks opponent face down. You can also do a follow-up, which we will show later. Counter hit down forward 2 shows plus 24, but it only gives true plus 14. Since it leaves you in cat stance, the best choice for follow-up is to use the 13-frame heat engager. Counter hit back four knocks opponents down. It has a follow-up, which we will show you later. This move is not a natural combo, but on counter hit it is. This move on counter hit becomes a launcher. It also shifts to stalking wolf stance. This move on counter hit gives a true plus 14. This move is not a natural combo, but on counter hit it is. It also gives a true plus 10. Down two on counter hit gives a true plus 12. You are from crouch, so the best follow up for this is a wild crouching two, which is a heat engager. If the last hit of this move is a counter hit, it knocks down the opponent free for a follow up. We will show that later. The last move of this string launches on counter hit. The last move of this string gives a true plus 14 on counter hit. This move is from horse stance, it launches on counter hit. This move is from horse stance, it launches on counter hit, but starts from tornado. This move is from cat stance. Normally this move doesn't allow follow-ups after, but during counter hit you can. This move is also from cat stance. Normally the second hit doesn't launch, but on counter hit it launches into a tornado. This move is not a natural combo, but on counter hit it is. This move on counter hit becomes a launcher. It also shifts to stalking wolf stance. This move is from stalking wolf stance. It becomes a natural combo on counter hit and allows for a follow up. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are still enjoying this so far. Next, we will show you her normal hit launches. This is her up forward four. It is her hop kick and the combo starts with a tornado. This is her forward forward three. It has a startup of 19 frames. It can also hit opponents on the ground, which makes it a great follow up move. This her heaven and earth one. It bounces the opponent high in the air. This is her three two. Like her hop kick, this is also 15 frames. This is her one plus two max hold charge. 
From crouching, we already showed you the while standing too. Next, we will show you the tornadoes. Next, we will show you some of her pokes. This is her 1-2-4. This is a good poke after your 1-2, since you can mix this up with 1-2-2. Two, two. This is her down 2. This leaves Lydia in crouch, so you will have access to your while standing or while crouching moves after. However, Lydia will be at a disadvantage even after hit, unless she gets a counter hit, which we already showed you earlier. This is her down three. It can extend high using one which gives you plus four after. This is her down back three. It has a clean hit effect, which gives you plus seven on clean hit. It shifts Lydia also into horse stance. On counter hit, we already showed you earlier that it extends as a throw. Down back four is zero on hit, and it is also zero on counter hit. Her stalking wolf four gives two hits and leaves the opponent face down on the ground. Lydia has a standard down forward one, which you can use to mid check at close range. For mid range, she has down forward four for mid checks. For a bit longer range and at 18 frames. She can use her back one for pressure as it is plus two on block, and it also hits mid. Next, let's check her crushers. This is her power crush from neutral stance. This is her power crush from horse stance. It shifts into stalking wolf stance. This is her power crush from Heaven and Earth stance. We already showed you earlier that it is a powerful launcher. The rest is either a low crush or a high crush. Next, we will show you her trackers. Next, we will show you her whiff punishers, reminding you that some of these tools might not be the best or some are missing. Let us know in the comments if you found an interesting Lydia tool. At around 3.8 distance, Lydia can try the following long whiff punishers. Three plus four. If the first hit misses, you might reach with the second hit. Forward, forward three. Forward, forward two into horse stance. At around 2.5 distance, you can try the following moves. 
three plus four again. This time the first one may hit. Back one. We already showed you earlier it is mid and has decent range. For around 2.2 distance, you can try these moves. Are you guys okay? Remember guys to take a break when playing long hours. Next, we will show you her heat engages. Next, we will show you the different ways to change her stance. Ha! Pressing forward three plus four shifts Lydia to her horse stance. Yeehaw! Horse one is a high, has a startup of 17 frames. It gives plus 16 on hit, plus one on block. Lydia shifts to wolf after hit or block. It is tracking and it is a power crush. Horse two is a mid. It has a startup of 16 frames. It is a throw on hit to a heat engager and it is minus 10 on block. Horse three is a mid. It has a startup of 22 frames. It is a knockdown on hit and minus four on block. It crushes highs. Horse four is a mid. It has a startup of 28 frames. It is a knockdown on hit and it is plus eight on block. It shifts to stalking wolf. Horse one plus two is a low. It has a startup of 20 frames. It is minus one on hit and minus 18 on block. It shifts to crouch. Pressing back three plus four shifts Lydia to her cat stance. Meow. Cat one is a mid. It has a startup of 17 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is minus eight on block. Cat 2-2 two two is high and mid. It has a startup of 14 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is minus 10 on block. Cat 2-3-1 is a high mid-mid. It has a startup of 14 frames. It knocks down on hit and it is minus 10 on block. Cat 3 is a high. It has a startup of 13 frames. It is a heat engager on hit and it is minus 4 on block. Cat 4 3 plus 4 is a low to mid. It has a startup of 19 frames. It knocks down on hit, but it is not natural. It is minus 14 on block. Cat 1 plus 2 is a mid. It has a startup of 16 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is minus 3 on block. It shifts to Stalking Wolf on hit or block. Pressing forward after horse stance puts Lydia into her stalking wolf stance. Awoo! Wolf one is a mid. It has a startup of 22 frames. It knocks down on hit with a free follow up. If you charge wolf one, its startup is 36 frames and it becomes a launcher on hit. During heat, Wolf 1 on hit has the same effect, except that it switches to Heaven and Earth stance and ends heat mode. Ha, yeah, 
Wolf 2 is a mid. It has a startup of 15 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is minus 7 on block. Wolf 3 is a mid. It has a startup of 17 frames. It is plus 4 on hit, and it is minus 6 on block. Wolf 4 is low mid. It has a startup of 20 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is minus 16 on block. With heat and from any of the unique stances, she can shift to her heaven and earth stance by pressing up. Heaven and Earth 1 is a mid. It has a startup of 18 frames. It launches on hit, and it is minus 11 on block. Heaven and Earth 2 is also a mid. It has a startup of 13 frames. It knocks down on hit, and it is plus 6 on block. Use this to continue the pressure. Heaven and Earth 1 plus 2 is a high. It has a 16 frame follow up and it is unblockable. Are you guys okay? Remember guys to take a break when playing long hours. Next we will talk about how to go to the stances using attacks. This is her forward forward 2. This shifts Lydia to horse stance. On hit she will be at plus 15. On block, she will be at plus 5. On normal hit, true plus 15 doesn't guarantee a next attack, since the fastest move she can use during horse stance has a 16 frame startup. However, on counter hit and during heat, it changes to plus 17. Therefore, you can use the 16 frame follow up from horse if this happens. This is her 1 2 2. It shift to cat stance during hit and block. It is minus eight on block and still shifts, so she may be vulnerable for some frames there. This is her 2-2. Two -two. It also shifts to cat stance during hit and block. It is better since it is plus 11 on hit and minus four on block. This move also shifts to cat stance. It is plus 11 on hit and zero on block. This move also shifts to cat stance. It is a tornado on hit and minus five on block. This move shifts into the Stalking Wolf stance. It is a knockdown on hit, and it is minus six on block. This move shifts into the Cat stance. It is plus 11 on hit, and zero on block. This move shifts into the Cat stance. It is plus eight on hit, and zero on block. Here is a list of the other stance shift using attacks. Next, let's move on to her parries. This is her down back 3 plus 4. By itself, it is just an attack. But it has a property that can parry lows. This move is an attack which can also parry highs. When Lydia goes into her heaven and earth stance, she will have the strong parry effect which can parry even elbows and knees. For the last section of this video, we will show you some of her moves with follow-ups. Almost all of the moves that we will show you are slams, wherein the enemy cannot do any quick get-ups. If your move is delayed a little bit, the opponent's get-up choice will determine if your follow-up will hit. Almost all of the time it will hit, and some will even launch the enemy.
If you want to know how to punish Lydia, check out this video here.